good morning. We're just on our way to work. It was definitely a little less hectic than yesterday. Well, I should say a lot less hectic. It was still a little hectic because I forgot that I had to put dinner into the crock pot that I didn't even like prep or anything. So I had to put dinner into the crock pot and we're having kibasi with um, kibasi with pineapples, pineapple and brown sugar. It's so good. It's like so simple and so easy and so delicious. If you like pineapple, okay, you have to like pineapple to probably like this recipe. Yeah, so I was brushing doing that and trying to get, re get everything else ready. Oh my goodness gracious. I can't wait for this week to be over. And I have a gift card to get a massage, which I really need to find it so I can go because I need a massage so bad. I just need to go pamper myself. This morning I did feel nauseous like I was going to be sick, but definitely not like it was the, um, like last week. It was just like a wave of nausea and I didn't eat yet. So I, I ate a breakfast bar and I had a cup of chocolate milk and I felt like way better. So I hope it's like that nausea where you just need something in your stomach and you feel fine just like that. And not like before, because so many people have told me like when I was pregnant last time, you know, just keep crackers by your bedside. But that's like normal morning sickness, which last time I had the hyper, um, hypermesis. And I would be waking up at two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning out of my sleep to get sick. So it wasn't just like when I was waking up, you know what I mean? It was just like, I would be waking up to get sick. It was so crazy. Right now I feel really great besides the irritability, which that's nothing. I will take that. I mean, it's thanks to be irritable, but you know, I can just, there's ways to cope with that, you know, just like pampering myself and trying to relax and giving myself an extra 10 minutes or something like that. So there's definitely ways to handle that. And Paxton is just reading books in the back. I love that he's become like a little bookworm. I absolutely love it. It's so cute. Hey, you. Hey. Hey, you. Are you going to show us what you're playing with? Say yes, you guys. Whoa. Say, I'm just playing with my truck. Hi. Yeah, say hi, everybody. Wave to everybody. Say hi. Wave, hi. Go ahead, say hi. Say hi. Yeah, there you go. Hi, guys. Kissies. Give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. Mm. Oh, there you go. There you go, guys. We just got done eating a snack and now we're just playing and I cleaned the whole kitchen because it was kind of messy, but kind of messy. And I'm so mad because I put dinner in the crock pot this morning. That way I'd come home and it would be all ready. And I hate my crock pot. Like it's good if you were home all day, but it to like do it while you're at work. I hate it because it's not program. It's, you can't program it, so you can't say like, oh, three hours, and then it'll go and warm, or you know, what, however many hours. Because I leave the house at 7:20, so whatever I cook, it's only warm, low, and high. There's no medium; it's just low or high. And if it's only three hours on high, even if you put it on low, it's going to be too long. So today I tried it. I was like, you know what? What was that? I was like, you know what? I'm going to do the kibasi, um while at work. Even though it was only three hours. It was three hours on high, so I just put it on low. Oh my god, it was so overdone. Basically, we couldn't eat it. So, it's annoying because I was rushing to do that this morning. And for no reason, because we couldn't even eat it. So, Rob was saying that we just need to get a new crock pot. Yeah, obviously, I'll still keep that one for like days that I'm home and everything. And like, you know when we have like parties or whatever, which when we never have parties. But no, I know you want your paints. You can paint on paper. Would you like to paint on paper? Paint on paper? Here. Here, you gotta do this, babe. Here, hold this. Rob is 
he is studying. Yeah, studying, I think that's what he's doing. Because a lot, like his job is always like, you know, changing. He always has to learn new things. If you don't know, he is the senior systems engineer for the school district that I work at. He's always needing to, you know, learn new things and all that. So he's always studying, learning up, looking up things and all that fun stuff. Paxton is doing great at painting. Other side, buddy. This side. Look. Your turn. One here now. Good job. I like those colors mixed. Ready? Whoa. Got one paper now. Wow, it looks beautiful. Wow. He's getting better and better at his crafts. It's 7 o'clock. Are you ready to get ready for bath and go to bed? It's every night, night. Say night, night. Look, he loves bath. He knows exactly what I'm talking about. You ready for bath? All right, hold on. We got to clean this up. He loves bath so much. He like freaks when I take him out. Right, is bath your favorite thing? Pax is in bed now and he goes to bed so nice. It's so nice. I had like such a bad nightmare the other night. I had a dream, well I had a nightmare that Paxton was choking and not like gagging, like legit choking and his face was like turning like blue. So I literally jumped out of bed, like this was real. I jumped out of bed, like not even jumped, like pounced out of bed and I was like Pax and oh my gosh and then I realized it was a dream and I just like stood there and I was like oh my god my heart was like beating so fast and then I got in bed and I was t like I told Rob I was like I just had the worst like dream it was horrible it felt so real I was so scared but hopefully he sleeps good tonight last night he slept good until like 3 30 I went in there when he started crying and it was a little warm in his room so I think he was like uncomfortable. So I brought him in our bed and I ended up being the human pacifier. And it's not fun when you're sore. So hopefully tonight he doesn't wake up. And he sleeps really good because I am sore. And I, I mean, you know, sometimes it's nice to side nurse and everything but not when it's like hours. We got our fireplace going. Well, actually Rob got it going. Good job, Rob. Good job. <laughs> Rob just on his phone. And some people have asked where we got our couch. It's from Kensington. I don't even know. Is that like a chain, Kensington? I don't know if it's a chain. But I forget what brand this was. Do you remember what brand this was? I forget what brand it was someone's name and it took a long time to get here because we picked out the fabric like the texture of it and we picked out how we wanted it like laid out and the color so it took a long time to get here but we're just relaxing but this couch is really comfortable and it's nice because we also picked out the pillows there was like a ton of pillows to choose like different patterns and stuff to choose from and i really like these pillows and this couch is not reclined because we did not want a reclining couch because our last couch ruined our walls. You guys can see like those marks that still need to be fixed. That's from our reclining couch. When it was pushed out, it would eventually like, slide back and hit, hit the um, bottom. And it's nice because this couch actually has grips like, un like made on the couch. So you don't, you don't even have to put grips on the bottom of the legs. They're just on there, which is really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog. I hope you guys liked it. And I didn't film that much today because I don't really do much. I just relax with Paxton. But I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.